Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Crazy Crafty Cuties. This is an open collaboration and the creators and hostesses are Annie over at Annie Creates, Linda over at Linda's Creative Life, and Melissa over at Buy Mimi with Love. This month the theme is Halloween or Fall and they've asked us to upload on the 30th. So I decided to do Day of the Dead project. So my dear neighbor across the street, she puts up a very elaborate Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos altar. It's beautiful. And she is there to honor her ancestors. So we went shopping recently because I am currently working on a little golden book journal called Coco, which is all about Day of the Dead. And I didn't have very many items. So my neighbor and I went shopping and I found some cupcake liners that say Dia de los Muertos. So I was trying to create ephemera and things to use for the journal. So what I did is I cut out the bottom and I used that in the journal and I did five of them. So I cut out five cupcake liners and then I was um, ended up having just the kind of the ruffly part of that and I thought well I'll attempt to make rosettes I'm not that good at making rosettes out of cupcake liners but I'm going to try and the rosettes I make I'm going to turn them into uh, like wands and I'm going to try to attempt to make a bouquet so my neighbor could use or if she wants to use it for her altar so this is what I did I started out with this vase and then I also found this ribbon that was Day of the Dead. And so I wrapped it around the jar. And I stuffed the jar with tulle. And it, there's pink, there's yellow, there's red, there's purple. Just all sorts of very, very bright colors. And then I had another piece of tulle that I just uh, created a little bow right there. Then here are my rosettes that I turned into, you know, like wands. So here is the cupcake liner that I kind of squished together. Then on the back, I punched out another flower out of paper. And then I glued a sugar skull. Now those little sugar skulls come from a garland that I also got from Dollar Tree. So I just pulled those off and glued one on the back. Then on the front side, so you don't see where it's gathered, I put a uh, little gem right there, tied some of this ribbon on, and kind of clipped the tails. Uh, then I added this bow, and those bows I got from Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance. So I did this one, which is the, like the yellow one. So I'm going to put that in this, the jar here, kind of try to arrange them. I did this one, same thing, but a red gem. And then I did one with a kind of lime green gem. And all the little bows are slightly different. The straws, by the way, I did get from Dollar Tree too. And look how colorful they are. Beautiful. So um, the thing I've learned from uh, my neighbor about Day of the Dead is they are there to remember their ancestors. Uh, they set out food for them so they will feel welcome. And it's so colorful. It's beautiful. Here is the pink one. And I did five of these. And then here is the blue one. So I will show you how they are all arranged. And again, you know, my rosettes aren't like the best. I like making rosettes uh, when I get all the paper strips cut from my Cricut. That has been the way I like making my rosettes. I, you know, I struggle making rosettes from the cupcake liners, and I'm not sure why, <laughs> I just do. So I'm trying to arrange these so they kind of are all 
the ribbons are all flowing out so I can show you somewhat the end project and then um, or end product then I'm gonna go across the street and give this to my neighbor and uh, again um, she just does an elaborate altar and uh, she is welcome to use this for that if she wants to so there is my project for this open collab and I do appreciate Annie, Linda, and uh, Melissa for coming up with such a fun, fun project. I think that I might not have gotten this done as quickly as um, I did, but because of the collab, it's done. So there you go. Hopefully you guys have a good shot of that. So, yeah. And she's welcome to add whatever else she wants. It's, my neighbor... Uh, is quite quite crafty so anyway that's what I wanted to share with you for this open collab thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit I truly appreciate it hope you guys have a great Friday be safe be happy be positive and until next time you guys rock